The Apatavice power plant in the Czech Republic is installing wet flue gas desulfurization systems to remove sulfur from their flue gases. As part of this process, they are converting an existing brick stack over to wet operation. To properly design a wet stack, a physical flow model study needs to be performed for the design of a liquid collection system that will eliminate the potential for stack liquid discharge. Haydack had hired Alden Research Laboratory to perform this flow model study. A 1 15th scale flow model study was fabricated of the Apotovice plant, made primarily from plexiglass for flow visualization. To perform the study, droplets were injected into the model and their trajectories watched to see where these droplets would impact inside the liner surface. Where these droplets impacted, additional liquid was added so that the resulting liquid films could be tracked. And based on this information, a liquid collection system is designed that will collect and drain liquid from the system before it has an opportunity to be ejected from the top of the stack. Liquid reentrainment from a wet stack is caused by high condensation rate within the liner, excessive gas velocities reentraining collected liquid back into the gas flow, and the surface of the liner having discontinuities that can enable reentrainment back into the liner. The chimney at the Apotovice power plant is a brick chimney, which is generally unfavorable for wet operation. And this is primarily because any liquid that is collected on the inside of the liner can seep through to the outside, and this can lead to structural problems with the actual chimney itself. The plant has decided to line the chimney with a PenGuard borosilicate block lining system, which is a borosilicate block. Um, this type of system provides an impermeable surface for liquid so that it cannot pass through to the outside of the liner. It acts as a thermal insulator, which reduces the amount of thermal condensation within the liner. And it also provides a surface which is very favorable for wet operation because it minimizes the potential for droplet reentrainment back into the gas flow.